another beekeeping video. So today I'm gonna go in and pull the sugar feeders and add in um, some extra frames. We're about to have our tallow flow start, so it's a good time to pull the uh, sugar feeders. And as with any time I do something, my neighbors have their lawn equipment out. in here. These bees are known for making propolis. I'm actually going to see if I can swing around the side. Because being in front is actually not a good spot to be. Came out and 
and the other came out. So that was not the queen, but that is. Lots of pollen in here. You can kind of see that there. set this frame down so I can show you guys larva. So if you look down in these cells you will see larvae in the bottoms of the cells down there. So that suggests that there's definitely a queen somewhere. You can see there's more larvae down here. So that's a good sign.
this particular queen is shy. I haven't seen her yet. That might be her right there. Except she's not that big. And I'm expecting the queen to be larger. larvae here so I know she's been here this is the next side that would she would lay things. Let's send the boys down or girls down below. I think my stalker might have gone out. All right, let me go. All right, that's what it should look like when you smoke them. They should scurry. larvae in here so the queen's been all the way over here got lots of pollen on this side more larvae lots more larvae got little tiny larvae over here so I would expect to find my queen on this side because I've got eggs in cells that are partials So I'm 
gonna set that down gently and show you guys. So you see down in here, you've got these little tiny white spots. Those are eggs. And that means the queen has laid eggs there. thought this was the stronger of the two hives so we will see more larvae. She is running out of room to lay. More larvae, a couple eggs. So I expect to see baby bees next week. We're at, uh, we're coming up on three weeks this Sunday since they were installed. So, you know, we're right on track. I am taking the sugar water away a little bit early, but I think they've got plenty of it stored. And I think they're ready to start harvesting the real stuff. white creature that steals honey is about to leave for watching and uh, you know I made it with no gloves I didn't get stung I, I'm feeling good I have taken the sugar water um, feeders out and just set them out um, I'm gonna let the bees return home with them and uh, you know I want to wean them off sugar water so that they'll they'll take in real nectar and I, I think these colonies are fixing to grow 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 these are Saskatraz colonies that I got from Man Lake and Oliveras have been really happy. They actually have turned out to be pretty docile. Um, they weren't docile, but somebody said bees turn into a you know what's at night, and that seems to have been the case. So anyway, I did also open up my uh, entrance boards this uh, week, 
and I took away the solid bottom boards and moved over to screens because I was seeing some mold on my solid bottom boards when I did my hive inspection and I didn't like that and I think this is better and you can see the girls are bringing in lots of pollen I mean you need to look at the pollen on that tons of pollen on them and this hive is certainly no stranger to it so if you wait long enough there'll be some bees that come back and they bring lots of, of you can see there that girl just just brought tons of pollen back so that's what we want to see uh, let's get rid of that bee carcass um, this is definitely what we're looking for is lots of bee pollen coming back didn't see the queens but i did see larvae and eggs so i know they're there somewhere it's 